There's a trend going around that big creators are going around. Let me explain. Now, this isn't going to be my normal type of video, so this isn't going to be edited that well. This is just, you know, for me to explain my thoughts on the situation. Now, me personally, I don't really care about the monkey game badge. It's, it, at the end of the day, it's just gorilla tag. But people are complaining that it's rigged. So let's watch through Jack Noham, the creator of this trends video, and let's see if he can change my mind. This is why I want to boycott the creator troop program. I made a little video saying to boycott it. A lot of people were kind of confused. I sure wonder why. It's not that I'm salty about not getting in. I've only applied like three times. You kinda are considering that you're even trying to boycott it in the first place. Anyways, it's a bit of a flawed program. Like the badge is mostly there so you don't get impersonated. But they're not giving it to a lot of big creators like Sava and Viking VR. Who get now, the reason to that is because Viking and Sava mainly post on shorts. This is true because you can see Sava hasn't posted in two months and Viking hasn't posted in one. Sure, they rake in a lot of views, but Gorilla Tag mainly wants creators who put more effort into their content with long-formed videos. Impersonated all the time. I don't know if they're mad at Sava for making Penguin Paradise or something. You can pause to read if you want. Lemming posted this inside the official Gorilla Tag Finger Painter Troop Discord. But I do know that not a single YouTube Shorts creator has ever gotten accepted unless they post on TikTok. Jokes aside, there's a lot of gorilla tag creators who post on shorts and don't even have a TikTok, but they have a finger paint. Not to mention, Elliot hasn't posted on TikTok in over three months. And they also have to have a lot of followers on TikTok too. First of all, you don't need TikTok. Second of all, Obviously, you're gonna need a lot of followers. The main point for the finger painter badge is to make sure you don't get impersonated. So obviously, you're gonna need to be known in some way. And it's annoying because they acknowledge that YouTube Shorts exists, like for the points. Once again, it's because it rakes in a lot of views. But you can't fully rely on Shorts for the finger painter badge. But they don't acknowledge you if you post mainly YouTube Shorts. Obviously, Shorts are less engaging, but they do pull in a lot more views. And when the program first started, they said they'd accept 10 people a month, and now they're doing one. And that's because all the known creators that are doing good is accepted. They don't have much good choices anymore for people to get accepted. And if Lemming accepts too many people, then it's not going to be a rare thing anymore and it's going to ruin the program. It doesn't have to be this super exclusive thing. Also, whatever happened to the tiers? Like, weren't there supposed to be four? There's nothing called tiers. Now, there is some creators that do deserve finger painter, but don't have it. One of those is Yum Yum. The reason Yum Yum doesn't have it is because he said in one of his videos he doesn't want it. Anyway, that's my opinion on the whole situation. You guys can leave your comments inside the comments, duh. Anyway, thanks for watching.